here next Saturday. We need the same, you know, the same energy that y'all had, man. It was really lovely. It's something like when it's third down, you know, you, the stadium was rocking and the fans are yelling. I give you a little extra, you know, a little extra gas in the tank, you know, let's yeah. just go. You know, and uh, it, was, it was great having the fans back, man. It was great. Definitely great having the fans back. There were some big time defensive plays, particularly in that second half. Yeah. Is that a mentality that you guys kind of try and preach that someone needs to take a uh, step up and take a you know big opportunity? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like you know, we're down. Who's gonna make a play? Who's gonna make a play? And uh, we emphasize that a lot. Uh, what you gonna do? How you gonna how you gonna change the narrative for the game? What are you gonna do? And like, I feel like as you saw different people at different positions stepping up, uh, you know, and yeah, we do. We definitely emphasize that. What you gonna do to change the game? How you gonna how you gonna change the narrative? Yes, sir. Did you see this opportunity in your mind's eye when you were in a junior college in Minnesota to come here making plays on national television a few years nah, ago? Nah, man. <laughs> I mean, I was just happy I got the opportunity to come to the Great University of Maryland, man. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Coach Loxley. But now where I am, you know, being a leader on the team and mm -hmm. having a team that's so good around you with the chemistry, the brotherhood, man, I couldn't be more excited. I wouldn't be anybody. I wouldn't even want to be anywhere else besides the University of Maryland, man. I love it. What went through your head when Jacorian got that interception? Oh, I love that guy, man. <laughs> I love that guy. That was a big time play for us, man. For uh, with, uh, was, was it fourth quarter you got that yeah. pick? That was crazy. I'm like, why? I'm looking at it. He like kind of overthrew the ball a little bit, and that's what uh, Jacorian Bennett backing up. He wasn't really playing his guys backing up to catch the pick. Man, it went crazy. That was. That was the best thing that could happen in that moment. You know, it was a big turnover, get our offense back on the field, and they were able to do what they did. And uh, that was great. That was great, man. Jumped in late. You guys held them out of the end zone in the second half. You also had those two big takeaways uh, yeah. on your side of the field. What was the difference in the second half? What do you feel was what turned the tide for you? Um, like, I, like I said earlier, we definitely emphasized on playing four quarters. Uh, we're a team that we went through a tough training camp, and the previous years we we felt like we didn't play for four quarters. So, uh, just not looking at the scoreboard and keeping our feet, keeping our mind where our feet is, as Coach Locke says, and uh, you know just playing it down, playing the play, doing your best job on that play, and then moving on to the next. You know, uh, we wasn't really focused on the scoreboard or whatever. We just want to dominate the person in front of us, make them quit, and uh, that was the goal. That's good. How cool were the uniforms? Yeah. Oh, uniforms, great, yeah. great uniforms, man. <laughs> yeah, it was tight, it was well fitted. <laughs> it was definitely great uniform, the Terps. Uh, it was great.